Good evening, and thanks for joining us tonight at 11, everybody. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. He was the gas station clerk killed this morning in a shooting right here in Columbus. 10 TV's Richard Solomon sat down with some of his friends. He's in studio tonight with this story. Richard. Yolanda, Andrew, Saez Vera's friends tell me he was just about to quit that job at that gas station in May because it was too dangerous. Now, they're left planning an unexpected funeral. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He almost made it. Just not quite. <laughs> And like we all know who did this. Like everybody, like I mean, does anybody, anybody here think that anybody other than the usual suspects did this? Dangerous. Now they're left planning an unexpected funeral. This smile is one of the first things you'd notice about Saish Vera. Everyone loves him for the way he was. He's a kid who is having a lot of inspirations and like goals to achieve. And a close second to his skills playing cricket. He's a very good cricket player and like he was passionate about cricket right from childhood. Two things that Venkat Narusu and Prunit Ragubadi loved about Saish. Saish came to America from India when he was younger. He was studying to get his master's in IT. This is a country of opportunity, so he wanted to be pushing something and get better at things. A bright future, without a doubt. And all that taken away. Saisa had just played a match of cricket and went straight to work at the Shell gas station on West Broad Street around 1 Thursday morning. Surveillance photos released by Columbus Police show this man that police say walked into the Shell gas station and shot Saish. <sighs> cool cat says salute everyone <laughs> meow i hope everyone is having a better night than me we had two sons od on fentanyl and the glider mom was devastated so was the ed oh you work in the hospital okay yeah man uh, <sighs> any thoughts guys man Fab. Walked in there, blew the fucking Patel's brains out. Man. God damn. Sent that Patel to hell. <laughs> what was that one song? I like, this is America. <laughs> yeah. no, just walked in and killed. That guy's working on his fucking master's degree. Walked in and blew his brains out, man. A master's degree in IT, which is Any, even harder. Right, exactly. In anybody, um, some anybody know Joe Biden, man? Anybody got Biden's number? Give him a call. Tell him about this. Tell him he got another phone call to make, man. He got to um, reserve a date for this guy's family to come to the uh, White House and visit. He'll call the Sun Man's family before he'll call the fucking victim's family. Right, right. Yo, I, once you get one of the demographics, they'll literally hang up on you. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, yeah. I mean, is he black? Yeah. No. Click. Click. <laughs> <sighs> what a fucking shame, huh? Gas station on West Broad Street around 1 Thursday morning. Surveillance photos released by Columbus Police show this man that police say walked into the Shell gas station and shot Saish. He died at the hospital, and they got the call at 7 in the morning. I ran out of tears. What, what will be the pain that the parents are going to go through? He was about to quit this current job in two weeks, and then this happened. Now, they're working to send his body overseas to his mother, and they're asking for your help. I know money cannot, cannot do it, bring back him, but that is the least we can do for the family. His Put up a GoFundMe and ask for two point five million dollars and see how much you get. No, never happened. I'm sure that's even higher today. <laughs> that is the least we can do for the family. His death, a complete shock to so many people, but what they want most now is justice. If you just like kill someone, there is like. A family that is waiting at the other part of the world. I'm sure, like the guy whoever did. Yeah, the, 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 yeah. C cut it out. <laughs> he don't care. Man. And please don't tell him to turn himself in. 
waiting at the other part of the wall. I'm sure like the guy whoever did this will be caught and the justice will be served. And they tell me they plan to create a cricket tournament to honor him within the next coming months. If you would like to help his family, we have a way that you can do that right now on our website. That's 10 TV. So the guy just walked into the store and just shot him, or? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. And Sounds unbelievable, don't it? Information, new details for you right now about a deadly gas station shooting. Just minutes ago, Columbus police released these surveillance images of the person they believe is the suspect in that deadly shooting. Now, the shooting happened overnight at a Shell gas station off West Broad Street. We're going to continue our coverage. We do appreciate you joining us for 10 TV News at noon. I'm Tracy Townsend. Police say that they've... Man, make sure you support the channel. Hit the PayPal Cash App Super Chat, man. Listen, man. There's one narrative going on out here. It's the only place where you're going to get the, the other narrative. Or let me say not the other narrative. It's the only place you're going to get the real. Make sure you support the channel, man. <sighs> at noon, I'm Tracy Townsend. Police say that they've identified the victim as 24-year-old Saish Vera. The shooting marks the seventh gas station robbery in our area since January. 10 TV's Kevin Landers was at the scene earlier this morning for Wake Up Seabus, and he has this look at the crime scene. Behind me, Columbus police are still here on scene. We're told that they're trying to get surveillance video from inside the gas station to help them identify the shooter and explain how this crime happened. According to police, the clerk was inside when he was shot, but it does not appear that the transaction happened outside the gas station where that window is that you see. It appears the shooting happened inside the gas station, but how the clerk was shot remains a mystery. At this point, police are hoping that the surveillance video will give them that information to help explain what happened here at the gas station. This all happened around one o'clock this morning here in Franklinton. Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. And again, police releasing those images that we shared of the surveillance video. They would not say how many shots were fired or whether money was taken from the store. If you know anything about this shooting, you are being asked to call Columbus police. Jesus Christ, man. Drug crime. Jesus Christ, man. Um. This is this just so fucking sad, man. And think about it. These are just the ones you cover. Hundreds yeah. of others. Yeah, th th it's it's literally like a drop in the bucket. But the mainstream media just covers an atom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We cover a drop in the bucket. They cover an atom. You'd have to be on 24 hours. Breaking like news tonight. Was back in the beginning. <laughs> If you were to cover every story. 